In this video, we're going to be going over Wing Chun principle known as the small triangle. Now this is, use the small triangle as a metaphor to point out the limit of how high you want to raise your strikes and, blo and blocks for that matter. Mostly the blocks, it's because this is more of a defensive triangle. So the main point is to keep your elbows below your collarbone. Now your hands, you can keep, you can bring them slightly above your collarbone because if somebody were to punch you toward the head, you can raise your wu-sao up to block it. But your elbows, you want them to stay down and below your collarbone, and here's why. Let's say Carl has his hands together, keeping his elbows below the collarbone for his defensive structure. It's like he's making two wu-saos pushed together. Now if I try to move his hand, move his arms, I can't really do that without um, disrupting the structure, because even as I'm moving his arms, his body moves with it so his hands don't move off his mother line. Now, if he raises his elbows above his collarbone, it's much easier that way, because the structure is disrupted and uprooted that way. Now, most of the time, we keep our elbows below the collarbone. There's rarely going to be an instance where we actually raise our elbows that high. And even when we're doing something like a bong sao, where the elbow is raised, it still stays below the collarbone and below the shoulder because if I bring it up this way, it's compromised. I don't have that much structure because if I, let's say Carl's punching at me and I do a low bong sow, I'm able to deflect it. And if he pushes on me from there, and he can like push into me as well, if you go ahead and step in with that, I still have good structure. But if I raise my elbow like toward my head, he punches in and then continues to push on me and move toward me, this is bad because it's pushing my it's pushing my upper body back, which makes me have to step back. So that's why you want to be maintaining that your elbows stay below the collarbone, even with the bong sao, and that's also known, aside from wing arm, as the elbow up block. Now, for a practical application, let's say you can also, if your el if your opponent attempts to step to attack you by raising his el his elbows up. You can take advantage of that. He comes at me with a knife, push his elbow up, and I can pull his arm back to disrupt the structure. And go ahead and do that again. I'll do this more slow. Just by just with this hand alone, just by pushing his elbow back, forces his body to lean back, and since it goes over his feet, that forces him to step back to prevent himself from falling. So that those are the main reasons we maintain the small triangle. We've got the square that keeps us from bringing our arms too far out to the sides, and the small triangle, which keeps our arms from going too high. Hope you all learned something, and I hope you have an excellent day. Carl, thank you for helping me with this one. Thank you. As for everyone else, stay safe, stay healthy, stay awesome, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.